What's up guys and gals, Dark Dally here, and today I'm going to show you how to make really simple power doors that are run by logic gates. The client, the style that I use is really easy to make, and I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to go through the process of how to make this airlock right here, where you come in the door, you get all your rads wiped away. Once you activate that, it closes that door and then opens this one at the same time. Very nice and neat for staying safe and secure in your bunker, knowing that no one can get into you. Like this, this front window here, which is actually uh, four thicknesses. So you can rest assured that no super mutant is going to be hitting me through this. I like to feel safe and secure in my bunkers. And that is why I built this can this decontamination airlock and today actually right now well let's just get to it guys I removed a section of wall here so I can get in and out of the bunker without going through the doors while I'm building first thing I'm going to show you is the system I use to use an XOR gate as a handy little door switch logic gates can be a little intimidating but let's look at it simply and for now just this one gate it takes power in through the red post and puts power out through the black post if it receives only one input. It's a great logic gate for control. Learn how to use this one and you can do a lot of stuff. I use this gate and this gate only for pretty much every contraption machine I've made except for the really complicated stuff. All right, so here we have a basic power door. I've already mounted a switch on each side. I have power right here. Now you guys know that if I power the switch, and then power the door, this switch will open and close the door. You know, very simple. But what if we want to come through the door and push this switch and no matter so that no matter which position this one's in, this switch will reverse the direction of the door. That's the system that we're doing today. It's a system so that you can open a door, go through, hit the other switch, and no matter what position either switch is in or what position the door is in, hitting either switch will open or close the door. I hope that was not as complicated as I made it sound. All right. Enter the XOR switch. Here's what we're going to do. First, we, wanna run, we want to run power to each of the switches. Now, a lot of times when I'm working with the power door, I call this hot wiring. I'll hot wire the door open so that I can get back and forth through it. That's not an issue here because we can go around it, but that is one great little tip. For now, let's go ahead and power up these switches. Run power to this one, and I'm going to utilize the wires through walls glitch. It's just kind of essential for doing stuff like this. If you are not familiar with it and want to know how to do it, be sure to check out my, my video I made on how to do it. A link will be in the description. That said, we're out of the way with that. I'm going to assume now that you know how to do it or we'll read up on it later. Okay, so now each switch has power. Each of these switches need to go to the same post on the logic. It's very simple. Each switch gets power. Each switch goes to the red post on the logic gate. I'm going to run this to this pylon here just so I can. All right. Now each switch goes to that post on the gate. And then the black post on the gate simply goes to the door. Now the door is open because it's being held open, if you recall where I held it open. Okay. Now, no matter which side of the door you're on, hitting the switch will reverse the position of the door. It's really simple. It's a very simple system. You don't even have to understand how logic gates work to pull this off. You can just go back and forth and do this. And to review again, very simple matter. Power goes to the switch. Switch goes to the red post, both of them. Black post goes to the door. It couldn't be any easier than that. Now, to build this system I have over here, and this is what the video is actually about, is how to make this door. So that you can enter through one side Activating this immediately reverses whatever position each door is in and then exiting here. Basically, it's set up so that the outer switches 
only work the respective door and this contamination arch which is actually standing for a switch I mean what is it but a switch right which decontaminates you simply reverses the position of both doors using gates let's do that right now so I've already got another door set up here now I'm using basically I'm using the same philosophy the same basic setup Except let's go ahead and I'll just take this switch out of the mix. The door comes open because it's only receiving one input. Because, well, it only has one input. Let's go ahead. Let's pretend that this is our airlock right here. Okay. So let's put the switch you saw on the outside of each door. And then let's put something to work as a switch in the middle, which will stand in for the decontamination arch. Okay, so there we go. So what we got is we got a system of two doors with three switches. We're going to need a second logic gate. One logic gate for each door. It's just logical. The XOR gate will be found all the way at the end of the list. Now, we're basically doing this the exact same way The button on this door gets power and goes to its logic gate. The button on this door will get power. Okay, these wires are going to get a little crazy here, so we'll just have to ignore them being in the way. This switch here gets power, and then it needs to go to the logic gate. Let's drag this guy here. This switch is going to go to its logic gate, which is this one. Now, each switch has power, and each switch goes to the red post on its respective logic gate. Now, remember, just it's just like the regular one, the black post. On, just because we got two doors, we got two gates. The black post on each logic gate is going to go to the door. Now, in the middle here, this is the stand-in for our decontamination arch. Now, the way I have this is, first of all, it does need power. Any, any switch is going to need power. Now, that being said, this is one issue with electrical stuff which I would like to address. Watch using the same pylon or conduit for multiple things. It can cause a lot of grief when you're trying to chase down an electrical problem and it's because you have two things although which harmless are connected to the same conduit and one of those things has power further down the line and it back feeds through the line and powers something on the other circuit and you sit there scratching your head so to make a long story short let's just run this to the power independently weird problems can arise when you try to when, when you when you have two things hooked up and you may not see it for a long time so basically, this is the same as the other two switches. It gets power, and now, like the other two switches, it needs to go to a logic gate. But which one? Simple. It goes to both. This acts as the second switch for both doors, basically. It's very simple. It simply gets power, and then goes to both of the red gates. And here we have it. The system looks complicated because there's so many wires all you know all around. But when you see it in actual, you know, when you see it in action, it really is pretty neat and tidy. You know, there's not wires hanging out all over the place here. This I will address in a moment. This is a bug. I will address this in one moment. The reason both doors are open, we'll get to that. What I'm showing you is the wires. See, it really doesn't look that bad. Okay. So now, pretending this were our airlock, we open the door to go in. We come in, hit the switch on the de decontaminating arch, which simultaneously closes that door, and now it opens this one, and then we come back through and we close this one. There was a segment there I had to edit out because I had to fix a little problem I had. It was the exact problem I was talking about, actually. I had an extra wire coming off this conduit, and it was preventing it from working. 
So if you were looking at how the wires were hooked before, it's better to look at them now. This is actually pretty simple. It's actually just the same as the one door. There's two inputs to the red and one out from the black on each one. Very simple. Now, the bug I was I said I was going to mention, which was over there where both doors were open. The reason is because that's because I was going around from the outside. I believe it was caused by this because I had a hole in the wall, I was running in and out, and if you go in one direction, around and out the other direction, this will happen. And then you come into your, your airlock and both doors are open. Well, that's not very airtight or very sanitary or safe. And then when you hit the switch, then it closes both of these doors. And you're like, what the fuck, Dark Dally? You just told me the complete wrong way to make this. Your system's flawed. No, it's not. The reason this is happening is because, as I said, we were running out and going through them in a different order. That happens when both of these switches are set to the same thing and this switch is set to a different setting. As long as you go in and out of your building like it's meant to be used, this will not happen. If this does happen, simply turn all the switches on and it will reset itself. Now it works. Or all switches off. But if you go in and out of it like this, it will be perfectly fine and always function for you. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful. I have a lot more videos coming up on how to do pretty much everything electrical related. And I like to focus on useful applications. Yes, I have a combination lock, which I mentioned earlier, and I will show it. I have some weird, crazy things, but I'm more focused on the functional applications that really actually help you. Like for instance, these kinds of power doors. Um, I also have an ammo factory, which is able to start and stop each stage completely autonomously and then turn itself off when it's done giving you your ammo, requiring no intervention whatsoever. It's pretty neat, it's a, it's a neat little, little deal. And then I have another system I'm working on now, which is a generator load tester, which tells you how much power is left in your generator, which I think is going to be cool because that's something that legitimately would be a great help. I would love to know how much power my generator actually has left in it. That's something I'm working on now. So that's what I focus on is functional electrical stuff that actually works. All right, guys, like the video, subscribe. Don't forget, because I have all kinds of content that's always coming out. Plus, I have all kinds of stuff that I've been filming for months that could possibly be a big help, and I would like for you to see it. It's been great, guys. My name is Dr. Dally. I will see you all next time. We open the door to go in. Really? What's up guys, Dark Tally here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make an airlock. A powered airlock, just like this. It's not anything that's necessary for the game, although I do like things that are what the hell? God damn it.